There are always some amazing concepts that do not see the light. Like Pontiac concepts that never made it to production. But many people think if cars like the Pontiac Banshee XP833, Pontiac Farago CF428, and such would have been produced, how would they have looked? Let's find out more about these cars in today's video, and here we go. Number 1. The Pontiac Stratostar While the Pontiac Stratostar was just an idea, it looked like it came straight from a sci-fi movie set in the future. It was Pontiac's idea of what cars might look like in the future when it was first made in the early 1960s. It was a car that looked like a sleek spaceship and had a bubble roof that made it stand out from everything else on the road or even in your greatest dreams. The Stratostar was not made to be a car that anyone could buy. Pontiac wanted to show off what they could do. It had a lot of high-tech features like headlights that were hidden and a body that almost looked like it was flying through the air. The goal was to get people to talk about how creative and advanced Pontiac was, and it worked. It made people look at it all the time. The car was made to cut through the air like a knife, which is what aerodynamics means. The bubble roof was not just for looks, it gave the driver and guest a view that made them feel like they were in a jet, and for the time, it really was futuristic. It was never made possible for the Stratostar. Not a single one was ever parked in a driveway. It was more of a statement, a crazy idea that pushed the limits of how cars could be made. Even though you couldn't own one, it did have a big effect on the car world. The Stratostar gave rise to a lot of ideas that didn't just disappear, they shaped future forms and the way cars have changed over the years. So, the Pontiac Stratostar may never have been driven on the open road, but it left a huge mark on history. That was Pontiac's dream for the future. It never came true, but it did make a mark on the history of cars. A car that was too cool to be real, but great for making people think of cool advanced rides in the future. Number 2. The Pontiac Banshee XP833 Now this is the most what could have been car in history. The Pontiac Banshee XP833. It had a huge craze in the 1960s and muscle cars were all the rage. Pontiac, which was already known for making cool cars like the GTO, decided to step it up a notch. They made a car called the Banshee XP833 that looks like it came from the future because it was so sleek and fast. And this was not just any car, it was Pontiac's attempt to make a smaller, lighter car that could compete with the Corvette. Yeah, pretty killer. Pontiac really wanted to make the Corvette feel small. If you know John DeLorean from Back to the Future, you may know him as the rock star of car makers. He came up with this idea. He wanted to make a car that was quick, mean, and most of all, fun. The Banshee XP833 had a long nose that looked like a shark's and a roof that swooped down. It looked like it could shoot down the street. It was small but strong. Under the hood, there was a six-cylinder engine ready to roar. Plus, its body was made of fiberglass, which made it very light. It could have easily beaten the heavy cars of the time. Still, Pontiac was not just after looks. They wanted this car to be cheap. The Banshee was beautiful because it was made to be a dream car for everyone, not just the rich. It sounds great to have a fast, stylish sports car that won't break the bank, right? Well, not so fast then. GM didn't want to make the Banshee XP833 even though it was pretty cool. GM did not want anything to harm their cherished Corvette. The Corvette was their pride and joy and they didn't want Pontiac to make a competitor that could steal the show. So even though the Banshee was ready to go, GM said no. They were afraid that the Banshee could be too much of a threat to the Corvette, so it was never made in large numbers. And there are only two prototypes that were ever made. Everything else is history, or rather history that never happened. The cool thing is that the Banshee's DNA was not wasted even though it was finally shut down. It did have an effect on the design of the Pontiac Firebird, which went on to become a famous sports car in its own right. So in a way, the Banshee XP833 lives on through other Pontiac cars, even though it never got to go on the open road. If a shot was given to Banshee, there was a chance that Pontiac had a car that could have taken the crown away from Corvette. The 1960s and 70s muscle car scene could have looked very different. Number 3. The Pontiac Phantom Hey, have you heard about this cool car story but never got to see for yourself? Many people know the name, but have you ever seen one on the road? Well, the Pontiac Phantom was not just any car driving down Main Street. It was a concept car, a what-if idea that Pontiac played around with in the 1970s. Their goal was to make a sleek, modern sports car that could compete with the flashy European cars that were popular at the time. A low-slung body with sharp lines and a look that dared everyone to race it. The Phantom was rough, like it was made to make a scene at every red light. As long as the car was not moving, it looked like it could go at any time. 
Pontiac didn't hold back when they designed it. They threw caution to the wind and gave it a style that was louder and more aggressive than anything else they had made. The Phantom was not really made for most people, though, which is really the cool part. It stayed a one-time test, a secret tool that Pontiac never used. This is the kind of thing that makes car fans all over the world think about what could have been. Just think what would have happened if this animal had been let loose on the roads. Pontiac's Phantom is the ideal ghost car. It was there for a moment, but disappeared before it could become real. That's one of the interesting things about the Phantom. It's more than just a car. It shows how clever and risk-taking Pontiac can be. They were not afraid to break the rules and try new things, even if those chances didn't always work out. The Phantom never made it to the dealership lot, but its memory lives on as a ghostly reminder of Pontiac's big ideas that were almost made real. Number 4. The Pontiac Farrago CF428 Another crazy, one-of-a-kind concept car is the Pontiac Farrago CF428. Now, it looks like it was made in someone's dream shed. It was designed by Italian Paul Farrago and built in 1969. It was a mix of American muscle and European style. Pontiac that looks like it could speed through the streets of Rome and also rule a drag strip in the United States. That's the CF428 for you. It had a 428 cubic inch V8 engine, which is how it got its name. It was not just about how fast it was, though. The body was sleek and aerodynamic, making it look more like a Ferrari than a normal Pontiac. The car looked great, but it was never made available to the public. It was like one of those rare gems that only shows up once in the history of cars and shines brightly for a moment before fading away. Farago made sure it looked good as well as being fast. The inside was lined with leather, and the design as a whole screamed class. Not like most muscle cars, this one was unique and out of the ordinary, a mix of style and power. It was a rare attempt by Pontiac to push the limits of what an American car could be at the time. The Farago CF428 didn't last long, but car fans will always remember it as a bold blend of two different types of cars. And number 5. The Pontiac Firebird Pegasus The Firebird Pegasus is like someone at GM put a Ferrari engine in it to see what would happen. In the 1970s, Bill Mitchell, who was in charge of design at GM, had a crazy idea. Mitchell didn't want to settle for a normal muscle car because he liked fast cars with style. He had a Ferrari V12 engine put in the car, though. It doesn't get any more bold than that. A Ferrari heart and a Firebird body. And the Pegasus was not just about speed, even though the Ferrari V12 engine could really roar. Mitchell wanted it to look just as cool as it was to drive, so they made the car look more sleek and Italian. The Firebird looked like it had just come back from a fancy trip to the Amalfi Coast because of its smooth lines and curves. The front was long and stylish, and the back had the look of a classic power car, but with a touch more class. What's the name? Pegasus. That's pretty cool, isn't it? The name comes from a fictional horse with wings, which makes the car sound like it was meant to fly higher than other cars. If you thought a Firebird was cool before you added Pegasus, well, it was even cooler now. Too bad the Firebird Pegasus was only ever made once. Not like you could just walk into a Pontiac store and take one home. Bill Mitchell worked hard on this project because he loved it and wanted it to make a statement. But even though it was never made, it made an impact that will last. The perfect mix of American muscle and European style. A Firebird that flew with a bit of Italian swagger. So which of these Pontiac concept cars did you like the most? Share with us in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.